G'day crew, how the bloody hell are you? You may have recently seen a few videos from my recent Thailand adventure, and if you haven't, go check them out. I've published three videos so far, this being number four. Alright. I've become pretty curious about visiting Thailand, I've heard a lot of good things, but the one thing that made me book this recent trip. I saw on Instagram photos from a place called the Samilan Islands and they looked amazing. Turquoise water, white sandy beaches, lush green palms everywhere. It looked bloody amazing and as soon as I saw that I, I was captivated so that was my number one reason for booking the trip and uh, the most anticipated adventure of the whole trip. A lot of people haven't heard of the Samilan Islands so let me tell you where they are. They're on the west coast of Thailand, just north of Phuket, directly west from Kailak. It's about a uh, one to one and a half hour fast boat ride from Kailak. You can also go from uh, Phuket as well. Now before I went, I checked out the official Samilan Islands website, read the description about the place and it was, yeah, they, they, they leave you wanting. They make sure you want to go there. <laughs> um, They've got quotes from uh, National Geographic saying it's one of the top dive locations in the world. I mean, what is not enticing about that statement alone? So I digress. So I've put together a 10 minute video from all the it's not all the footage I shot that day, but it's it's the choice cuts, the cool things that I saw, or the things that are worth showing to you lovely people out there in the YouTube community. So, time for me to stop crapping on and uh, let you guys enjoy the little 10 minute tidbit of uh, Samilan Islands that I have prepared for you. See you on the other side. Yeah, I'm sure I will. See you. Thank you. See you tonight. In front, full bus. Thank you. How are you? Yeah. Still waking up. <laughs> Australia, Perth. Here we go. Are you ready for the Samilan Island experience? Where you come from? Aussie. Aussie, okay. Aussie. Oh, Aussie. Yeah. Melbourne. No, nah, Perth. Okay. Where are you from? No, no way. Yeah. Oh. Wow, I'm going to get all the food here. Thank you. Cheers, brother. I'm going to get all the food here. Thank you.
Pristine empty beaches of Samilan Island. That's advertised. Empty as fuck. It's like landing on Gilly T. Might be a bit of a lookout point here. time so I'm gonna go down here and see if this other beach hopefully get back in time to get my boat let's go
Island number nine. We've just gone across the uh, channel. It's island number eight. It's a little crowded again. So, uncrowded beaches, eh? Hmm, yeah, not that day. So, let me, let me run you through. The whole day costs 1,800 baht. That's 1,800 baht. Pretty bloody pricey, but, you know, I was keen to go, so I paid it. And uh, I was meant to go the day before, but couldn't go because the place was booked solid. No more boats. So just rewind things there to the uh, couple of beach landings that you saw in, in the video there and you saw how crowded that was. That wasn't a sold out day. What the fuck? <laughs> and I mean, the, the quote on their website from National Geographic saying it's one of the top dive locations in the world. Now, did you notice I didn't include any video underwater? Because there was nothing down there. I saw next to no fish, and I don't mean next to no school of fish. I mean, there were pretty much no fish. This is a nature reserve. Fishing around it, dumping rubbish in it, and boats are going around venting diesel gases into the water. What's that going to do to a marine ecosystem? That's right. It's going to fuck it. But yeah, I... 1800 baht you're not getting any value out of this day adventure to be perfectly honest you can get a better day out pretty much anywhere else I mean I found I found stunning empty beaches on Phuket. Empty. Like a couple of fishermen 50 meters down there. And that's it that way. And that way you can't see anyone. That empty. Just on the north of Phuket. So you don't even have to travel far if you're in that neck of the woods. So it, it's a double thumbs down from me for the Samir and the Islands, guys. Sorry to be a downer here, you know, I like to keep my videos normally upbeat and awesome, 
but this one was crap. So that's that's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, as usual, comments below, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll want you to be part of my family. I've got more trips coming up. In fact, this time in two weeks, I will be back on my second home, my home away from home, Bali. I'll be there for 18 nights of uh, sun, surf and adventures. Let me lead out with another sunset because I can't get enough. Until next time, crew, rock on. Yee-hee-hee! <laughs>